Panzer III was the main battle tank of the German army. Its fuel capacity was 310 liters. Each German Panzer division had supply columns whose job was to transport the required fuel. These included the small and large columns of motor vehicles with medium and heavy flatbed trucks with a total payload of 30 or 60 tons. Unlike the Luftwaffe, so the German Air Force, the army rarely used tanker lorries, so the fuel had to be transferred to 200 liter barrels and 20 liter canisters and transferred to flatbed vehicles. The German army used typical lorries to haul the 200 liter drums or the 20 liter canisters, today better known as jerry cans. Occasionally, they also used confiscated vehicles from the occupied countries. Fuel was picked up at the closest usable railway station where it was delivered by tank wagons or already filled 200 liter drums. Before and during the Second World War, most of the German fuel transport vehicles were marked with a large painted BUG letters. This stands for Betriebsstoff und Gerät for fuel and equipment. The letters could be on the doors, side of the cargo bed, or on the back of the vehicle. After the outbreak of the war, most letters were made considerably smaller or completely removed. Instead, signs with flammable content warnings were put up. The 200 liter drums were zinc colored and depending on who used them, they had army, Kriegsmarine, so navy, or Luftwaffe, so Air Force, embossed into the lids and bottoms. The Army Standard Canister is a canister with a capacity of 20 liters. It was developed in the mid-1930s for the German Army and was to be found in almost all European and North African theaters of the Second World War. The containers were still produced in large numbers in many countries today. In 1936, a series of 5,000 units was sent to the troops for testing. The official introduction took place with the army in July of 1937. The original model had a simple cross-shaped bead on both sides to reinforce the sheet metal and was manufactured until around 1941. The model with an improved profile was produced in large quantities by 19 manufacturers from 1939 to 1945. From 1940 there was also a standard container for 20 liters of water. The standard canister allowed vehicles to be refueled without the additional use of tools or funnels. In addition to information on the manufacturer of the respective canister, the standard canister bear the following imprints. 20 liters of fuel or 20 liters of water, flammable, year of manufacture and manufacturer. The 20 liter canister was also used for water but was then marked with an embossed text Wasser 20 liters. The 20 liter canister could also be marked with a single W painted on the upper part of the side of the can. This was not for Wasser or water but for Winterkraftstoff, a special mix that could withstand down to minus 20 degrees. All cans containing this mixture were marked with a large white painted W.